terms of the actual finish of the shoe, do you need to waterproof it? Do you need to do anything? I don't so much uh, recommend waterproofing here in Florida, even though we get a lot of rain. Mm -hmm. If you polish your shoes with a good coat of polish, mm -hmm. the water should repel. It mm -hmm. should roll right off. So if I'm looking on the can of polish, what what's the sign that polish is like a, a good polish? You know. Uh, me, myself, it all depends on the quality of the leather of the shoe mm -hmm. and what you're trying to get. Lincoln polish is a good polish, but you get a short life shine. Mm -hmm. Keller's polish, I think, has a better uh, grade of oil than the, than the uh, Lincoln. Mm -hmm. And then we have a diamond polish, which I think substituted, uh, kind of taking the place of Kiwi. Kiwi lost its oil base some time ago, mm -hmm. and you don't get the shine out of Kiwi polish. So a lot of people think Kiwi is the same as it was 10, 12, 15 years ago, mm -hmm. which all the guys in the military would use. The Kiwi polish with the wax and the lighter and the cotton ball or the t-shirt or the handkerchief. But the shine is not there anymore in that polish. Okay. And then, uh, what was the other thing? So, so you, you, you need to polish it up. You want to look at, you want to look at the, the container that hopefully it says it's got like a high oil content. In it. Yes, like yes. Mm -hmm. okay. The most thing, the very, very first thing, the most important thing is to clean your shoe. Mm -hmm. There are different products that people use to clean shoes. I have a product that I don't think too many people use it. I've been using it since 1983, 84, and it's something that was passed on. It's my number one trade secret. I can use that on mold shoes, mildew shoes, stained shoes. Some I've even taken my chemical and got oil spots out of shoes, which is very, very real and very hard to do. But I've used that. With well, this product, I can use it and could get by without even having to put polish on the shoe, but I wouldn't dare do that but it's just such a very good cleaner for your shoes. I've always heard people say something about saddle soap or something like that. I, uh, no comparison to my product with saddle soap. No comparison at all. So then when you buff it up, I mean, so you, you just, what are you using? You have a special cloth? Are you using, I would say people talk about horsehair brush and stuff like that? We do use the horsehair brush. The cloth of the horsehair brush has changed over the years, but we do have some pretty quality uh, brushes. And my dad used to tell me, son, your shine is in your brush. So you gotta brush that shoe until it shines. Your shine is in your brush. You gotta bring that shine out of the brush. And then the rag is used to finish it off. Mm -hmm. But my dad used to tell me about the rag. My dad would not allow me to pop the rag when he was training me or teaching me to shine shoes. And he would often say, son, the man come to get a shoe shine, not a pop shine. Shine the shoes, don't pop the shoes. <laughs> and to this day, I remember so many things my dad taught me. He said, son, you got to make the back shine as well as the front because they're going to see him coming, they're going to see him leaving. Shine the back, shine the front.